is an introduction to the D-Pivot add-on in Google Sheets. Many times if you're using Google Forms to complete questionnaires, you're left with a sheet like this where it has a date, you know, the user who completed the questionnaire, each question uh, in a separate column, and then the answers in rows. And this makes it very difficult to analyze using pivot tables. So you want to de-pivot the data uh, into a name value solution where this is the name and these are the values. So by highlighting a column, it indicates which column you want um, copied for every possible cell in the row. And the ones that are not highlighted to the left are ignored. So I don't, for example, want my final result, the date, but I want the user and then a row for each of the questions. So if we go up to add-ons on pivot, I pivot the sheet. It then gives me a chance to abort it if I didn't do it correctly. So it will ignore the first one columns and use one column one common column for each row, the common column being column B. And this is OK. I hit OK. It will create a new pivot table here. And as you can see, the user is listed. The name is the name of the column. And then the value is each cell. So you can see Doug is here 10 times with each of the answers answered for each of those questions. And this is nice because it allows one to then uh, pivot and or filter this information. So for example, I can come up here and filter and sort by the, the value here to get the, all the common every time it's answer A has been chosen in the questions and who's done that. Um, and then of course I can also come in here and then pivot this information and say for example I want to know the users and I want to know how often answers are used for particular questions. So I can come here and then chose the value, I'm sorry, the name, which is the question, and how often it was used. So this is essentially that questionnaire information, but instead of a column for every question, the column is now for every answer, and the, the number represents how often that answer is used in a question. So the pivot table is nice for analyzing uh, the data in different ways, and dpivot gets it into a format that pivot can do analysis.